Hi everybody. Uh, this is another video addressed to uh, INFJs for people who are wondering if uh, INFJ is the best fit uh, MBTI type for them. Uh, I just can't seem to leave you guys alone. <laughs> so I'm back. It's also the case that uh, I, I believe that more than half of my uh, viewership are uh, people belonging to the four creative thinking introverted uh, introvert types, the uh, INTP, INFP, INTJ, INFJ. And uh, anyone who's seen some of my other videos knows I'm really interested in, in mistyping and why it happens and how it happens and uh, how to prevent it if you want to. <laughs> uh, and I've been getting lots, you know, I get a lot of uh, comments as well. Usually my most needy comments are from people of those four IN types too. So um, now why am I doing the INFJ differentiator thing here? It, today it's, it's just because uh, it's come up recently. I've had several occasions to think about it. Um, I have had uh, contact with someone who... Um, reported being an INFJ and who was giving me lots and lots of uh, signals um, while living with me that uh, she very possibly would be, you know, that I wasn't surprised that the preferences on the four scales, preference scales for this temperament indicator for this person would be um, for energy gen regeneration, introversion, uh, for information gathering, um, it would be so-called intuition, uh, and for uh, the fourth scale having to do with sort of general approach to living everyday life and uh, um, would be more on the judging side. Um, but the F versus T really, I really felt was, uh, was off. Now, of course, this is just my opinion, and um, I didn't speak to this person about it. It's not my business, and uh, I don't. I didn't know her very well, so I could be wrong. But um, nonetheless, it got me thinking about the matter. Uh, I also recently have had correspondence with someone who has been, um, you know, with a good deal of uh, anguish and investment of time and energy and thought, has been trying to investigate uh, his best fit type, and um, within that model. And sounds like it's been a really arduous, long, complicated, uh, <laughs> hair-tearing journey for that person. Um, and he says he's tested, you know, in self-assessments, I assume they were online ones, um, has uh, come out with the results of either uh, INFJ, uh, INTJ, or um, INTP, um, but more often INFJ. And in my opinion, was uh, through a rather long exchange, uh, was exhibiting all kinds of um, descriptions of all kinds of attitudes and behaviors and uh, motivations and thought processes uh, that indicate strongly to me that INFJ is the, the best fit. Again, just my opinion, but um, that's what I saw, that's what I thought. Um, and Another, t and then I'm, I'm catching up to comments. Uh, I was away for a while there, so I'm sorry to any of you who have left comments for me in the last couple of months and wondered why I didn't uh, respond. I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm catching up to them uh, now that I have a working machine again. And uh, anyhow, I also came across very recently a really interesting and quite funny comment from another IN who has gone through all kinds of eddying and just all different kinds of revisions and has learned a great deal about um, Jungian typology behind the MBTI uh, system and about the MBTI and had some very intelligent things to say about that in comments and has said that uh, he's, you know, recently come to, after thinking, um, considering the other IN types, he's come to uh, think that probably the one he matches the best with is INTP. Um, and again, based on my opinion, with everything that this person was writing and the way he was putting it and whatever, I just was, was just screaming INTP to me. Again, I, my life has, been crawl has always been crawling with INTPs, and 
Um, it really, really, really seemed to me that that guy was on the right track with that. Again, whatever, you know, it's, this, is a, this is a very personal matter and people have to figure out their, you know, go about it, figuring this out how they wish, if they even wish to arrive at a conclusion. And what was very funny about this guy's comment was that he said, well, re you know, he'd had a, a lot of trouble um, trying to figure out, trying to deeply understand the difference between the cognitive function of introverted intuition and uh, introverted thinking. Um, and that he was really flummoxed by it and had been going around and around and, and trying to think it through and, and that, re and that his, and that his partner thinks that INTP is the best fit also for him. But he said he, he still, uh, wonders if he might be INFJ and, uh, <laughs> and this is the best, this is the best I thought. And he said, he said he maybe he's not even sure he wants to arrive at a destination which I think is, anyway, I'm just totally tickled by that. Um, so here's what, in the next part, that's laying out why I'm interested in this. And in the next part, I'm going to, um, you know, talk about my, an approach that I think will appeal to a lot of uh, the two IN types that have um, TI in prominence. <laughs> uh, uh, in combination with creative thinking. Um perhaps driving their, their self-typing process. So I'm going to lay a case out for you guys for a really good, what I think is a really effective um, and the most efficient of any single type differentiators for INFJ. And uh, we'll see what you think of that. <laughs> Please join me for the next one.